Oh, so let's proceed. Now we have two arrows, A and B. These are the two arrows. Uh, are each made up of copper, copper, zinc, and tin. And you have tin there. In arrow A, the ratio of copper, copper in A, of copper to zinc, the ratio is 3 is to 2. What is 3 is to 2? And the ratio of zinc, zinc to tin, is 3 is to 5. 3 is to 5. Like that. Determine the ratio of copper zinc at the tin in ROA. A. You can see this. So that the ratio of in A, in ROA, A, the ratio of copper to zinc is 3 is to 2. And the ratio of zinc is to tin is 3 is to 2. Remember the ratios. What you said when you want to make to find the ratio of zinc, of copper, zinc, and tin. You take this on 3 times 2, 3 times 3, you get 9. 2 times 3, 6, and 2 times 5, you get that is 10. You get that 10. So that's how you get the ratio of copper, zinc, is to tin in A. That is in A. Is that okay? Yes. Now we go to question B. That is A. A is done. So the mass of ROA, A, mass of A, mass of A, is 250 kg. The mass of A is of ROA is 250 kg. So what is the mass of copper in that? What is the mass of zinc? What is the mass of tin? So before you even go to the next question, you can first follow up to that before you go to the question. So therefore, mass of copper, mass of copper will be equal to nine out of total ratio. Nine plus six, 15 plus 10, 25. Nine over 25 of 250. Is that true? Yes. So that you can get the mass of copper. So by 25, 1, by 25, 10. So the mass of copper is 90 kg in that array. So, yes. We go to the mass of zinc. Mass of zinc. The mass of zinc will be 6 over 25 of 250. Again, you get this is 60 kg. That is mass of zinc. 6 over 25 of 250, which you get 60. Then mass of, we go to the mass of tin. Tin is 10 over 25 of 250. By 250, by 25, 1, by 25, 10. You get this is 100 kg. That's 100 kg. You can see that. Is that okay? Yes. So therefore, you can write the mass of this is mass of mass of copper it is 90 kg. Mass of zinc is is 60 kg, and mass of tin is 100 kg. That's a mass. You 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 agree with that? Yes. Yeah, do that. So let's find. Let's go down to the question because you already have the three. Because we need we need this information before you even proceed. On. So we go to the question. Question B. So the mass of ROA is 250. That one is done. Is 250. ROB has the same mass as ROA. Uh, as ROA. So therefore, mass of of ROB is 250 kg. Because it is the same as alloy A. Is that true? Yes. But the amount of copper, amount of copper in this one, copper. Copper is that less than that in alloy A. That less. So it is 70%. 70% of, of the mass of copper in A. In A, copper is 90. So it is 70 over 100 of 90. So that you can see the mass of the mass of copper in ROAB. So what is 70 over 100 of 90? 63. You get 63. 
that is 63 kg. So in, in B, copper has 63 kilograms. Now, question A, okay, the mass of, of tin in A, we already done. Mass of tin in ROA, A. So it is 100 kg. Yes. We already got that. That is, that is answer for number one. B number one. The total mass of zinc, the total mass of zinc at the tin in ROA B. If copper has 63, 63, so it means that ROA, so B, uh, copper has 63, so the mass of zinc at the tin will be mass of zinc at the tin will be equal to 250 minus 63. You just get that, because this is in B, in B now. That is in B. It is 250 minus 63. What is what do you get? 187. 187. 187 kg. So that was 187 kg. And that's a question that you are supposed to have answered right to that. So we are already done with A and B. So the mass of zinc at the T is 187 kg because you have already calculated copper. Copper, which is less than that percent, uh, that of. ROA, so it is 70% of light air, you get 63. So you, you take 250 minus 63, you get 187. Then you go to the next. Given that the ratio of zinc to tin, zinc to tin, zinc to tin, in B is 3 is to 8. And remember, total, total is 187. Determine the amount of tin in B. Tin. Tin in B. The total mass of zinc at the tin is 187. And then the ratio of this part C. The ratio of zinc to tin is 3 to 8. So the mass of tin in B will be equal to 8 over total ratio 3 plus. What is 3 plus 8? 11. 11. Times 187. Answer that. 136. 130. And that's what the examiner is asking. So this is the answer. That is the answer. 136 kg. And we are done with the question. We are done with that question. Is that okay?